What is material superphysics? How is it different from modern physics? Material superphysics is the implementation of superphysics for physical phenomena. It's based on the five elements model, specifically the ether. This is the opposite of modern physics, which is based on matter. Wait, what's wrong with modern physics? If your computer had 16 gigabytes of RAM, but your operating system limits itself to only four gigabytes, then there's something wrong with your operating system, right? Yes, of course. I would replace it with a better one that uses all 16 gigabytes. Exactly. We say the same thing about physics, which only knows about three of the five elements of nature as the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces. Material superphysics unlocks the two other elements as space-time and the ether in order to maximize our use of the physicality of nature, just as the proper operating system or software should use all of the RAM or hardware available to it. Why couldn't physicists discover the ether and space-time by themselves as to harness gravity artificially? This is because physics limits itself to phenomena that are immediately observable by the senses and equipment. The problem is that the ether and space-time are virtual or invisible and not detectable by instruments. They are only detectable by the abstract human mind called the soul. This is because the soul itself is made up of ether which is superior to electromagnetic detection or any tangibility. Physics totally discards the soul, calling it pseudoscience. In contrast, material superphysics studies the ether and the soul without neglecting matter. This is in line with the Asian sciences that can harness anti-gravity as proven by levitating Buddhist monks.